Every employee within an organization plays a part in the deployment of a quality plan. As the quality plan is rolled out, each person is assigned a particular role, whether he is upper management, middle management, or an operative employee. In most organizations, upper management comprises executives and senior officers who are responsible for implementing the policies and directions that define the company. Upper management plays a key role in quality management deployment. They establish and promote the quality policy, they focus on customer requirements, they establish and review the quality management system, they decide on actions. In quality plan deployment, upper management is responsible for establishing the organization's quality policy and objectives. Upper management also promotes the quality policy throughout the company so all employees are involved and aware of the policy. Upper management is also responsible for ensuring that the organization's focus remains on customer requirements and implementing processes that allow these requirements to be fulfilled. Another of upper management responsibilities is to plan, maintain, and regularly review the quality management system to ensure that it remains effective. As well, upper management should make sure that the necessary resources are available at all times. Upper management must regularly make decisions about the actions to take regarding the quality policies and the related objectives, as well as actions for improving the quality management system. To give an example, Emily is a senior executive at a food processing company that is in the process of deploying a new quality plan. Emily played a significant role in developing the plan. She helped establish the key objectives the plan is meant to achieve, which include becoming an industry leader in quality food products that are affordable for customers. Emily established a team whose sole purpose is to meet with buyers to regularly probe customer opinions of her company's products. This helps ensure that its focus remains on customer requirements. Finally, Emily often reevaluates the quality management system to determine where improvements could be made and takes action as necessary. Recently, her team determined that buyers were unhappy with the quality of several products and Emily was able to make the necessary changes so buyers would remain satisfied. So this would be the role of the senior management. The middle management monitors and reports quality management plans, manage their own areas and help in identifying quality problems. Middle management usually reports to upper management and monitor the activities of their subordinates. This group consists of individual department directors account managers and supervisors, for example. Middle managers have several responsibilities in quality plan development. They provide leadership for organization-wide initiatives or initiatives within their own areas. They also identify any quality problems that need addressing and work with suppliers and customers as required. To continue with our example, Edward is a marketing manager at the same food processing company. He is responsible for ensuring that all marketing materials meet the quality standards defined in the quality plan. He often has to identify quality problems problems that may exist and recently he realized that several marketing packages contained out-of-date information. Edward quickly addressed this problem by having the materials reprinting and redistributed. Edward also leads the team established by Emily that periodically meets with buyers to determine their needs. This enables him to keep customers' desires in mind during new product development. So this is the kind of roles that a middle management position will have in implementing quality management plans. The role of operative employees is that they participate in the quality improvement efforts and they help identify any quality problems. The operative employees are the workers who make up an organization's labor force and who don't belong to any level of management. Operative employees are responsible for participating in quality improvement efforts and providing leadership in those efforts when required. As well, they help identify any quality problems that need to be addressed. To give the same example and to continue with our story, Edward's marketing team consists of a group of five employees whom he meets with on a regular basis. During their last meeting, Chris, an employee, pointed out that a recent marketing campaign didn't have the desired impact. The team was able to implement changes to improve the quality of the next campaign. Now let's try an exercise to see if we can recognize all the roles involved in the quality management implementation. A small, locally owned and operated retail company has been receiving an increased number of customer complaints about one of its products and wants to deploy a quality plan to address this issue. Now, it's up to you to identify examples of the roles involved in deploying a quality plan. First option would be the following. The CEO promotes the quality plan throughout the company so all employees are involved. The second, the director of product development develops a company-wide
outside initiative to identify the reason for complaints. The third option would be that several employees speak with customers to gain feedback on company performance. The fourth option, the CEO meets with the company suppliers to determine why quality levels have dropped. And the last one, upper management work together to develop a solid quality mission statement. What do you think? Who does what in implementing quality management plans? Okay, let's compare. Option one is correct. Upper management is responsible for establishing and promoting the organization's quality plan and objectives. Option two, this is a correct option. Middle managers are responsible for providing leadership for organization-wide initiatives or initiatives within their own areas. Option three, this option is also correct. Operative employees are responsible for participating in quality improvement efforts and helping identify any quality problems that need to be addressed. Option four, this option is incorrect. Middle management, not upper management, is responsible for working with suppliers and customers as required. Option five, this is also incorrect. Developing a quality mission requires collaboration among all organizational units. A quality mission is now developed during quality planning and deployment. So this was the exercise and I'm sure you got all the answers correct. Now to conclude, a quality plan is a set of documentation that outlines an organization's quality practices, processes, and resources relating to a particular product or service. Quality plans can take many different forms depending on what outcomes they are expected to produce, but they all define quality objectives, steps in a process, allocation of resources, and the documentation to be applied. Every employee within an organization plays a part in the deployment of a quality plan. Upper management, middle management, and operative employees each play a unique and important role in rolling out the quality plan. This is about implementation of a quality plan Next, we will discuss about measuring the efficiency of these quality plans.